One of the questions I've received is how to configure a layer 3 switch in GNS3. For this demonstration, I'm going to use an iOS V layer 2 switch. The iOS V layer 2 supports both layer 2 as well as layer 3 switching. What I'll also do is use two routers as PCs in the topology. These devices take a while to boot up, so I'll start them and open up consoles to them. As you can see in the output here, we've got iOS V booting on the three devices. What I'll do now is connect the routers to the switch. So at the moment, we've got two routers connected to this a layer three switch. The routers in this example are acting as PCs. So I'm simply gonna use them to demonstrate VLANs and layer three configuration on this layer three switch. The focus of this video will be the configuration of VLANs on the switch and the configuration of inter-VLAN routing. In other words, getting the switch to act as a layer three device. So the switch is booted up. Show IP interface brief. There are various interfaces available on the switch. Show VLAN brief shows us that only the default VLANs exist on the switch. So what I'll do is give the switch a name, switch one, and then I'll create two VLANs on the switch. So show VLAN brief. We've got VLAN one, VLAN two, and VLAN three configured on the switch at the moment. The routers have booted, so I'll bypass the initial config on those two routers, acting as our PCs in the topology. Now notice, show interface gigabit 00 switch port. This port is in VLAN one. That's the default. The same is true for the second port. What we'll do, however, is configure gigabit 00 to be in VLAN two and gigabit 01 will be put into VLAN three. So now show interface gigabit 00 switch port shows us that gigabit 00 is in VLAN two and gigabit 01 is in VLAN three. Show IP route on the switch shows us that IP routing is enabled. If I disable IP routing and use the command show IP route, notice the output is very different to when IP routing is enabled. Now on these iOS V layer two switches, IP routing is enabled by default, but it's often not enabled on real physical switches. So to enable inter VLAN routing or layer three functionality, we need to have the IP routing command enabled on the switch. Show IP interface brief shows us the physical interfaces, but to enable inter VLAN routing, between the VLANs, we need to configure IP addresses in the relevant VLANs on what are called switch virtual interfaces or SVIs. So on both VLAN two and VLAN three, we need to configure IP addresses in the relevant subnet. So show IP interface brief, we can see that an IP address is configured on VLAN two and on VLAN three. I need to no shut those SVIs. So now show IP interface brief. We can see that those two SVIs or layer three interfaces for the VLANs are configured and the SVIs are up. That's how you configure a switch for inter VLAN routing and layer three functionality. So on the router, 
acting as a PC, I can no shut the interface and give it an IP address in the VLAN, such as the following. I'll disable IP routing on the router and configure an IP default gateway of 10.1.2.254. So show IP route on the router shows us that IP routing is disabled. Can we ping the default gateway? Yes, we can. On this side, we'll do something similar. So conf t host router2 interface gigabit 00, zero no shut. IP address 10.1.3. 1, 255, 255, 255, 0. No IP routing to disable routing and make this act like a PC. IP default gateway 10.1.3.254. Ping 10.1.3.254. So router 2 can ping its default gateway. So what we should be able to do now is ping router 2 from router 1, which we can. And to prove that, I'll do a debug IP ICMP on this side and ping the router from router two. And you can see that the pings arrived and an echo reply was sent. So now if we disable IP routing on the layer three switch, what will happen is the pings no longer work because the switch is no longer acting as a layer three switch. The layer three capability has been disabled on the switch. Enable IP routing and routing takes place and pings can be sent from one router to the other. So router two can ping router one and router one can ping router two. So that was a simple example of how to enable inter VLAN routing on a switch. In other words, make it act as a layer three switch. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's been of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.